going in the garage when it's weather like this is not the one okay what i need is do you know what shout out me because here are my drill bits clever Chardé put all of this together a few months ago so it's got all of our possible wall anchors and stuff so i'm going to bring that upstairs along with the drills i think that's all we need i'm getting in the bed and watching tv all night you can't stop me and no one can tell me anything <laughs> is this where i've got a new two new holes on the shower <laughs> this is where one of the tiles is on the floor <laughs> they gave you everything but the wrench bit to put them in that is stupid that is really stupid gave you everything but the wrench bit oh i'm excited because all of the wires are going to sit underneath here hey Ooh, tv's going up tv's going up tv's going up tv's going up mate i'm watching so much tv tonight there. Okay. that's better there. That's it. Perfect. So this is so this is funny red patch on the wall and it just seems to be in this one place I have no idea what it is. At first I thought it was just like watered down paint but it won't cover with normal emulsion. So I'm just using some of this quick dry and stain block. Um I was gonna go I was gonna go for the Zin Zinza stuff, which is apparently really really good for this, but they already had some, so I was like, let's just use this up. <gasps> so out of breath, I'll just run up the stairs. <gasps> these holes so remember i covered one of them yesterday and um, actually it was two days ago well um that looks really really good and i so wish i had some of those patches i've been like looking for them in all the places i can think of but i can't find them however there is this stuff here but it's basically the stuff that you use i can't remember what this is called but it's like a webbing that you use when you are plastering you use it in the joints to keep the joints of the plasterboard together it's got the same sort of consistency this netting and it's sticky on the back so what i'm going to do is stick it over one of the holes and then use the compound um, the filler joint compound if you live in America I think that's the same sort of thing um, but use that to fill it over and hopefully the filler will get stuck in all these little holes meaning it's going to give us a much more secure kind of like finish so it's time to finally get around to um, measuring the inside of this so what I want the shelves the upper shelf the smaller shelves and the rail to all go so that I can go to the local DIY shop and get those cut down. I could do them myself and I might end up doing them myself, you never know. But um, if I can go there and just get them cut, it makes life easier, doesn't it? And the width of them. and I've picked up some MDF so um, I'm gonna see if this fits in the little gap hoping Ooh. oh I mean it's a little bit maybe it wasn't quite 60 centimeters you know what I mean actually maybe it was I could probably get that to be a really flush fit to be honest Ooh. That's what that's going to look like. I've got the wood that is going to be the like kind of inlay bracket. It's going to sit in here. Then that's going to be like the shelf. It's going to have the bracket in the middle. So it's going to be very secure. It's going to be bolted on the end of the wall. And then in here, we will be able to put this piece of... Can you stop being rude? So rude. Imagine this like all neat and tidy. Looks like that. Boom. Okay. What I'm going to do is I really should paint the ceiling again. I mean, I really cannot be bothered, but I really, really need to get it done. I'm actually going to do a bit of a tidy up. I seem to have accumulated a lot of tools in here over the past few weeks. I think I'm going to start to tidy them up, decide which ones I'm not going to need to use again and take them, put them in my car and unload them just so my working space is a little bit more clear because it is stressing me out now like this whole... This whole working space is just not doing it for me right now. So I'm gonna size it up a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm back in the room and my aim for today is to 
get the shelves or at least a couple of the shelves on the wall in the closet i think i will be able to do all of them today to be honest as long as like nothing goes terribly wrong perhaps even give them a coat of primer if i if i have a little bit of time i might do one more coat of top coat on the skirting board thank you <laughs> that i installed just that i installed yesterday can you not You'll have to excuse the face, by the way. I, I have realised that I've been putting makeup on recently and then I've, all of a sudden I've stopped today and I feel very self-conscious. But I just, I actually just forgot today. I don't know why I didn't put it on, but I just kind of forgot. So just excuse the bare face. But yeah, so I'm going to go do all that. I got all of the wood cut yesterday to my measurements. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually not going to give a full in-depth tutorial in this vlog because I'm going to do a separate video, I think, where I show you guys the whole closet makeover and like the installation of the shelves and stuff. And it'll have all of the in information in there. But yeah, that video will be coming out soon enough. So if you if you can't wait and you wanna know how to do this, just go and Google any sort of DIY floating shelves video because I'm pretty much gonna do it the same and they pretty much all do it the same way. It's really simple. Let's get to cutting. I'm excited. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. It's my first time doing it as well, so. Anyway, it's a weird, dark, strange, murky So that's why it's good to do all of these things. But like the best thing you can do is if, if they have a Facebook page or an Instagram, go through the comments. Jamie Genevieve's new vlog they've moved into a, a beautiful new house it's not a new build it's actually a very old house and it is stunning they have like gold ceilings the most incredible ceilings you've ever seen the rooms are huge I'm totally totally jealous um but that's given me a little kick up the bum today to get on and get some work done so I am um, I'm having to go over to the house today because the carpet's getting fitted and I need to be there whilst they're fitting it so hopefully I can get some footage of the guys fitting that that'll be a bit fun won't it and um, but I'm just going to take my laptop over and just do a bit of work to be honest I've realized this morning how many candles I have and how many that I'm still in the process of burning so I'm gonna put them all together and I think I'm gonna put some little like gift boxes together for like friends and get rid of some of the candles even though I want to try all of them but I got this candle the other day in a glossy box this Yankee candle it's the last paradise I haven't even smelt it oh wow that's strong and then this one that I was showing you on the last vlog um, I'm really sorry the footage on that vlog was awful but this is the Miami candle by Next. Actually do you want to have a little sit down and we can go through what I got in this glossy box. So glossy box is really cool actually I don't know if you guys um, get them they are monthly beauty subscription boxes. I actually get these in PR now but um, I've been buying beauty boxes for like two years now so I love them. I think they're very affordable you pay around the 10, 11, 12 pound mark a month for them and you get so many goodies like so many goodies so in this in this box this month I got this Yankee candle I also got this hair mask which is not going to be enough for my hair because I've got so much hair but a hair mask which is looks like that it smells nice oh it smells nice actually it actually smells really nice molten brown orange and bergamot little shower gel and bath bath um what do you call it bath gel this smells so good. I've had a couple of molten browns in these before. Oh, stunning. Something that I'm really intrigued to use, and I'm, I'm so forgetful, I didn't use it today, but it's a liquid blush by this brand. I've never heard of this brand before. I've never actually heard of this brand before, but it looks quite cool. It looks a little bit pale for me, but I might try it just to see, and if not, I'll gift it to someone. Um, a little mascara by Smashbox. Smashbox makeup's pretty cool. This little mascara here. This sleep mist. 
like a sanctuary spa, love sanctuary spa stuff. This primer, I've had this before in a different box, Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer. Bumble and Bumble is a really good brand from what I see in like Boots and Superdrug and stuff. This Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Eau de Parfum, so you could use the two together. Really cute, this is the tiny little spray bottle. And then this Mineral Mud Soap by Ahava. This brand here, and it looks like this. Just looks like this. But some really, really nice stuff in there. I actually have a feeling that I got something else, but I've already used it, I can't remember. Oh yes, and you actually get like a full size bottle of shampoo as well, which I used the other day. Really nice. It's by Christoph Robin and it's a volumizing shampoo. Oh, and oh my gosh, I've actually, oh my gosh, there are actually three products which I have even taken out. There's an, also an overnight serum that I've been using every night by Lokitan. Is that how you pronounce that brand? Um, the Elemis Mini Rose balm so the cleansing balm that is super super famous the rose version of that by elemis and also a neck and decolletage cream by e-cooking i've had e-cooking stuff before in these boxes really nice but yeah all of that stuff i'm gonna tot it up now 15 so you're getting about 100 pounds worth of stuff in this and i really like that you get to try new brands and stuff all the time like there's so many brands that i would have never ever thought to buy because i just don't know them i've never been recommended them by anyone when i've been watching youtubers do stuff anything um but i've had them in the box and i've tried them and they've been amazing so it's really opened my eyes up to other potential brands as well but yeah so yeah i highly recommend i think i've got a discount code as well check the description box i'll put the correct code there right so because of my little addition to candles i've put together this box um which i'm gonna just make sure that i've got all of my new candles in here because i actually forget that i've got stuff like i had stuff in this cupboard for ages and i open it from time to time and i'm like oh my god i've got like three candles there so i've put together this cute little box so i've got these tea lights they're vanilla and coconut from dusk they're really cute and then i've got a lavender and pine diffuser which i think i've shown you before and then the lavender and pine candle from dusk um this one from blomus which is a sea salt and sage candle this one's actually really cute when i open the package it's like a really gorgeous like terracotta pink sort of color it looks like that it smells so different like i don't even know how to describe that scent but it smells good i don't think i've ever smelled a candle that i don't think is good but but what determines a good candle to me is like how well it bounces off in the room how well it like fills the room how well it burns if the scent lasts if you can smell the scent when it's actually burning because some candles you open them it smells good when you smell the pot because you're like smelling it up close and, and and kind of concentrated but then when you burn it in the room you can't really smell it um this yankee candle next one i've got this parks parks london aromatherapy candle in oud which i love parks london candles i actually had a bit of a traumatic experience with one of them i don't know what happened i don't i think it was just a faulty vessel but one day I was, um, it was burning and the top ring of it just popped off. Like it was such a clean, like sharp cut. Like, so basically imagine this was all burning and the cut had just like popped all of the top of this bit of the glass clean. Like I could just pick it up and pop it on top and it looked like it was a flush new piece again. But it was, oh, and all of the flame had like, like gathered along the top of the oil on top of the candle so it wasn't just burning on the wicks it like the flame had traveled onto the actual surface of the wax that was burning really scary because i like i was like well do i blow it if i blow it is it going to shoot off everywhere is it going to make it worse but yeah that was a weird weird experience because it's the only one that i've ever had with a candle and i did tell them and they were like super apologetic and they wanted to like check it out and stuff but yeah, I do look, oh, that smells so good. I do, I just love candles. I actually just love candles. Like, if you love candles, let me know down below because I sometimes I feel like it's actually a bit of a, a weird obsession with the number of candles, like no one needs this many. And then in the last vlog, I showed you the Atlas and Ofa ones. Beautiful. And just in case you missed it last week, this one as well. But yeah, that's my, that's actually a really small stash for me, not gonna lie. Like, I'm gonna try and, um, get them all in this box and i might try and say to myself you're not allowed any candles until this box is gone but i'm actually going to gift i'm going to try and gift some of them to people i actually gave one to my to my mother-in-law yesterday a huge one it's like this i gave it to her yesterday it was one of the dusk ones and it smelled so good she was so happy it's nice to share the love so i'll be gifting some of those on i take this off because that's hurting my head oh. i've actually got quite a lot of work to do today so i'm going to take my laptop to the house 
whilst the guys are laying the carpet i will be getting through emails editing some content because i have got so much to catch up on so so much so with it coming up to summer my pergola video from last year is starting to do the rounds again on youtube which makes sense people are wanting to build pergolas and stuff and it was me and rob's first time of building a pergola or anything of that like kind of like structure and size and it was obviously a diy job we did all of the research that we we thought we needed beforehand as the video is doing the rounds again on youtube i'm just getting some really horrible comments like just unnecessary comments and it really just deflates you sometimes because the amount of work like we could have just built that and just had it for for ourselves but i always want to try and help people and like give people tips because not everyone can afford for a builder to come and like spend thousands of pounds on a pergola when it could cost them a few hundred pounds and some people are capable of doing these things but they just don't really know where to start or don't have the confidence so i always try and capture like everything that i do diy so that i can help people like that's all i want to do and i've just had some really just misogynistic comments just about me being a woman and i should be in the kitchen and um you can tell it's a diy job and i'm just like yeah no shit sherlock it's a diy job because i said in the title DIY pergola <laughs> like what more do you want from me and I just it's so hard putting yourself on the internet because some people they just either don't read and don't listen to the whole video and make comments about stuff that have been already addressed in the video or they're clearly just like ignorant and the biggest van has just pulled up outside my house and I'm not sure why like a huge Tufnels van and I have not oh he spotted me what is what is being delivered please be the paint really dying to get my hands on the paint from crown <laughs> it wasn't the paint oh i'm so gutted it wasn't the paint it was actually um something from flymo for a campaign that i'm doing with them but yeah as i was saying i just don't understand the internet sometimes like you can't i'm just here not hurting anyone and just you still get absolutely battered so if you want to leave me a nice comment that would be really nice to try and like drown out the horrible comments from people because i just don't understand i just you know i just don't understand anyway let me go pack my stuff because i want to get to the house before um the carpenters get there is that what you call people that lay carpets carpenters carpenters who knows <laughs> guys i'm here at the house look look at that gorgeous door I'm obsessed with this door. Oh my God, the flooring in here as well. I feel like this flooring, if you sanded it all back, maybe filled in between the joints somehow, stained it or painted it, that would be such a nice flooring. Like that hard flooring looks gorgeous against that door. Um, sorry, it's really echoey. Oh, John put the pendant light up for me. I was gonna do it, but when I took off the existing ceiling rows, there were like 20 wires under there and I'm not a trained electrician, he is, so he was like, I'll do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this room. This is the door. I'm actually gonna have a whole um, video, I need to put the handle on still, but a whole video on how I did the door and the shelves inside. This is what the shelves are looking like. So happy with how they've turned out. They're pretty solid, like don't move. <laughs> so I'm quite proud of those. I need to paint those actually, I should have. I should have got here earlier today. I could have painted those today. That would have been a really good shout. Anyway, I am beyond excited about this room. This is basically what it looks like now. Over here. This has all just been coated once with paint, white paint, just to kind of get it through, just so that there's a, a more even base when I come to paint the actual color on top. Uh, the back of this door, I forgot to sand down at the time I was doing it. So when I hung it, and I realised that there was still wood filler on the back and I hadn't sanded it down, I had to sand it down. So when I come to paint all of the shelves inside, I'll give this a fresh lick of white paint as well. There's some very loud noises going on upstairs. I actually asked them, Oh my god <laughs> it probably doesn't actually sound very loud 
on the camera, but it's really loud in person. So the carpet guys are here. The carpenter, I don't know what to call them. The carpet guys are here anyway, and they are installing the carpet upstairs. I did ask them if I could get the camera in the corner of the room and film a time lapse for you guys, because I always think that sort of footage is so cool, but they um, were a bit hesit hesitant. They were a little bit hesitant, and I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable, so I was like, only if you are comfortable with it, and they said no, so sorry we can't see the footage of them doing it. I'm just going to update you when... <laughs> I so wish I could see what's going on, like I'm so intrigued, but um, I will update you when it's done. The carpet's done! Yo, that carpet's lay, bro. Look at the difference. Look at the difference that it makes. And it's really... Ooh. It's really squidgy and soft as well. It's really nice quality, really nice. Um, the whole room just feels so different now. Like so, so different. It just feels like an actual room. It feels totally complete. So the guys that came and laid it today um, did it quite quickly. They probably did it in about an hour or so. Apparently it's not too difficult to lay carpet, but it's really nice if you can just get a professional in to just come and do it without having to like, yeah, just all of that stuff. So they laid it all the way into this corner and then we also got it in, oh, if you can see in here, also got it through into this corner as well. Yeah, got it all the way in here as well. So I need to definitely put a handle on this door because it's such a thick pile when you open the door, it's like a little bit harder to, to pull open. But once you get the handle on that door, it should be better. But yay, we've got carpet laid. So happy about that. I think for the colour palette that we're going for, grey is always quite like a safe bet when it comes to carpets. We could have probably gone for a bit more of a light beige, a lighter tone with maybe a bit of a beige in it. But um, it's so hard to choose carpets. It really is like, it's the same as paint. Like you paint a small square and it looks like something. And then when you do the whole wall, it looks totally different. When you lay the whole carpet, it looks totally different. It is a little bit darker than I thought it would be, but it's still really, really nice. It's really good quality. And we can mix, the tones all mix well together. We just need to make sure that we draw from the colors in the carpet through to the rest of the room and vice versa. I'm just so excited now. I just want to get the paint on the walls, get the bed back in here, get the trinket stuff, like the mirror. Oh God, I keep just talking to you about it and I can't show you right now, but we've ordered the mirror. The mirror came a few weeks ago and it is beautiful. I opened the box and had a look at it. It is gorgeous. I don't want to spoil the, spoil the surprise and tell you what it is. I want to show you it. I want to get the bootcase sofa in here. I want to get everything just, oh, I just want to get this room done. But yeah, this is this was a big thing. This is a big task to do. So now that this is done, we're in a good spot. But yeah, today I've just been doing some work. It's actually nice to have a bit of a day where I'm actually physically can't do any work because like I can't physically do any like DIY work because then it forces me to do my other kind of like admin work, which I put off so much. And then when it comes around time to do it, I'm just like, why have I left this all so much? So um, yeah, I've been able to get through quite a lot of work today. So that's really good. Anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and have a snack because I haven't really eaten today and I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. So I've got a whole packet of scrapes, scrapes? Mm. I've got a whole packet of grapes that I'm going to eat so I'm going to head downstairs eat those carry on doing some work and then I'm going to head out now that the carpet's done I can head back home and tomorrow I will see you when we do this closet bye